Hi, Shane Lynch here, Other Monkey Business, creator of the Business Success Academy, director of Future State, where we give your business back its time. And welcome to another video of your Future State in under five, where I help and share strategies to help you take your business to the next level and achieve that future state. Today's topic is problem solving, about finding the pains in your business, the chronic pains and sporadic ones that are taking you away from doing the value in your business. Because this is one of the best, one of my favorite strategies to scale business. Why? Because problems take time. When you're doing things that don't add value to your business, you're wasting time, you're wasting efforts, you're wasting resources, you're wasting people's and your customer's time. There's so much time wasted in doing non-value added activities. Remember that strategy we talked about? Every activity should be aligned to that. If it's not, it's costing you money. And it's a great way of making sure problems don't happen. What are problems? Problems come in many different forms. Great one, IT going down, customers not delivering on their promise, suppliers not delivering their promise, internal mechanisms not happening, people not talking to each other, problems with equipment. There are so many. But do you think your customer cares if your IT systems go down and you can't get that proposal out on time? No, they don't. All they see is someone who can't deliver on their promise because they have a problem. So how do you solve these problems? Because when you solve these problems, so many things happen in business. So much magic happens because you can take so many great actions just to focus your team's energy on value adding activities. Why? Because when you remove all those problems, guess what happens? You create capacity in your business. Now what should you do with that new capacity when you stop doing all those non-value added activities? Well, don't do what most people do and rationalize their business and get into the cost-cutting spiral because the prize is staring you in the face. You should create capacity in your business so you can fill it with more business. Get your sales team to fill, more, fill that capacity with more business. Because what happens? Straight away, by removing the problems and allowing capacity, you've scaled your business. You've filled that capacity with new business and that new business comes with new profits. And with new profits is also a double profit because the labor is essentially free. So it's the great strategy to scale your business without scaling your cost and making sure everyone and every process in your business is adding value by not doing the non-value adding activities. It's a simple strategy and I suggest and urge you to make sure you start looking at how can you identify problems today. When you've identified them, how are you going to solve them? Well, there's a simple process that I want to share with you. It is very simple. And the first is all about making a specific statement. It can't be a general statement. It needs to be a specific because a problem well-defined is a problem half solved. It's not just about being loose and general. Oh, we didn't meet our targets this month. It's about why didn't you meet your targets? How much were you down? Was it 10%, 20%? What caused that to happen? And you go into root cause problem solving. Because once you have a specific statement, then you can do something about it. And if you wanna make sure you've got a specific statement in a, in a way that you're happy with, use the five W's and one H process. That's the five W's. Who did it affect? Who caused it? Where did it happen? What happened? Why did it happen? And when did it happen? And the how? How did it happen? The H. It's a simple. Make sure your specific statement fits into that process. And then when you're happy with the statement, you've assessed it, you've reviewed it with your team, then you do your root cause problem solving. And there's a great simple strategy that I use with my clients called the five whys. If you haven't heard from them before, if you have kids, kids are brilliant at it. They ask a question why a lot more than five times. They ask 10 whys. They have a great, kids have a great ability to learn. And they do that by continually asking that question why. So eventually they get to an understanding, they go, oh yeah, it's the same here. You need to get to the root cause. And it typically takes five times asking the question why to get to that root cause. So what would it look like? Let's take a quick example. Let's say you're going to work and you get a speeding ticket, right? Why did you get the speeding ticket? Because I was speeding and I was running late for business. Why were you running late? Because my alarm clock didn't wake me up. Why didn't the alarm clock wake you up? Because the batteries died. Why did the batteries die? Because I let them. You can't go any further. Then what is the countermeasure? It becomes clear when you get to the root cause. Put in new batteries 
or you can decide, well, I want to make sure I get that 100 year fix so that never happens again because batteries can die. What about plugging your phone in beside you when you go to bed so it never dies and you have an alarm clock on your phone? That is a strategy. That's what we call a 100 year fix. Make sure you always get a 100 year fix so then you can walk away from that process knowing it's going to deliver results all the time. Anyone who's involved in ISO, who's involved with procedures and processes, there's a thing called CAPA, corrective action, preventative action. Most people are great at the corrective. When something goes wrong, when an IT system goes down, when a machine breaks down, when an information process breaks down, you can put a corrective action, a band-aid on it very, very quickly. And yes, it'll get you up and running, but most people leave it at that. Make sure you put that 100 year fix, that preventative action in place to make sure that never happens again. Over to you. What are you gonna do in your business today that's gonna help you find your problems and eliminate them so then you can root cause, problem solve, and create capacity in your business to grow your business with more sales and more business. Take action today. And again, this is Shay Lynch saying thank you for your time, wishing you every success. And if you wanna learn more about how Future State can help your business, please click on the link below.